there. There and starting. Hello, how are you doing? Still such a great song. <laughs> the sound quality is just the best. <laughs> I always have my loudspeaker, well, my speaker settings set way too high <laughs> every time. <laughs> so maybe I'll learn it at some point. <laughs> Anyways, not sure which save I'll go for, but I'll try 32 for now. Nope, that does not seem like the correct one. Uh, 31. Yeah, that seems more like something that's gonna actually be helpful. Not sure if her walking out just now was after telling me that the guy was gonna be free soon? Or if that was... Well, no, no, I think it was... Yeah, I think this was before uh, she walked back in. Because I think I wasn't standing at the clipboard when she walked back in to tell me that he was going to be free on bail. So, time to check the file. Okay. Um. There. So, let's see. Apparently I arrested him, well, that was like, um, like two hours, 45 minutes after the briefing. Felt like more time than that, but sure. Well, he's already locked up. The issue is bail because, um, where was it? He had one pound of cocaine with an estimate value of a quarter of a million. And that's just what he had on him. So then they set the bail for twice the amount that the drugs he already had on him were worth. That seems uh, like a bad idea to me. Because, oh. I'd say if you're traveling in a stolen car, you can kind of expect to be stopped at some point, especially when your license plate, well, the front one was missing, I think, and the back license plate um, was also stolen license plate on top of the fact that the car was stolen. So <laughs> then he carries, quarter of a million worth of drugs and you set bail at half a million. Seems like a bad idea because if you carry your entire life savings worth of drugs with you in a stolen vehicle, you're just not that good at planning because <laughs> you should expect to be stopped at some point. But yeah, would be kind of obvious for him to have more money than that. Because, well, having your entire life savings with you is very risky. And I'm sure if he carries that much on him, he's probably sold some of it. So, maybe he had even more. 
And that's just the stuff he had left. But either way... <laughs> Yeah. I mean, obviously, if he's already, well, most likely more than rich enough to spare half a million, he'll just disappear, possibly go to another country. That way, well, it would just not work to get him back, so... Yeah, he's a tricky one. And whoever decided that man... that half a million bail was a good amount was wrong, because he can probably spare that. So. Silly judge. But I'll still try and um get some evidence on him what i found out last time was well since his name well is probably neither marvin hoffman or leroy pearson i tried to look both of those names up and i found an apartment number which i think was directly at the hotel in this town and well I have not managed to get into that apartment but it might be a clue so that's interesting and apart from that well just kinda stuck also, it's a bit weird that his height is different on the two driver's licenses. Because, is he 6 foot or 5'11"? <laughs> that shouldn't change. Was he wearing stilts? <laughs> or high heels? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not that far apart, but it should be easy enough to figure out. Anyways. So, his last known address is not helpful. Uh, date of birth, 49. Wow, <laughs> that's a while ago. <laughs> so, do these? Yeah, wait, what? So his actual date of birth is in 49, but these two say he's younger than that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Just a tiny bit. No restrictions, whatever that means in the context of this game, since the one guy's restriction was being a programmer. Yeah. Um, expired license. Temporary license. Oh, the other license was expired? Can't see a date on there. But yeah, um... So, vehicle was turned over to narcotics. Great. The handgun probably wouldn't be helpful. The drugs, well, <laughs> I don't actually have any use for those apart from just piling them up in front of the judge and going, are you sure that half a million is enough bail? <laughs> but. I don't think that would be effective. But yeah. The notebook didn't really have any full names, so I don't know what I'd be able to look up. So I'll see what was in the notebook again, because I still have pictures from last time. So yeah, it was 
stuff like poker with JB. Like, that's not super helpful because I don't know who that is. I don't even know his real name. I also don't know if those initials are based on people's real names or not. Like, there's a robber G. Who seems to be mentioned several times. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Seems like the name Lonnie West is still relevant because there's a line that says, um, uh, terminate LW. Which, well, could be Lonnie West. I'd say LW is not... Well, also, meet JM and LW. So I might look up Lonnie West. So, I don't think there's anything else in here. Like, the license plate and stuff. Yeah, great. <laughs> Registered to Malcolm Washington. Um, I don't think there were any initials that would point to a Malcolm Washington. Because, I mean, who knows? Maybe he didn't actually steal the car. It was just well, reported as stolen. Like, I don't know, maybe he did ask to take the car, but just didn't bring it back or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'll definitely look up Lonnie West. Lonnie West. Really? Nothing? Nothing at all? Lonnie West. Nope. Uh, well, I'm trying to figure out what I could use to get that guy to stay um, in jail for now. Because they either need to really raise the bail or um just hold him without bail so yeah i need evidence for that i'm trying to figure out how to get it cannot find lonnie west so either that guy is just unknown to the police for whatever reason or like, maybe it's a fake name. <laughs> well, actually, I'll look up both of his names again. So, Marvin Hoffman. Um, let's see. Okay. Was it 49? Like, date of birth seems to just... Or does D.O.B. mean something else? Like... D.O.B. sounds like it should mean date of birth. So... Is it 49? Is it 39? Is it like 55? Is it 56? Because 
Based on his license, you really have, well, licenses and all the different entries in the database. There's absolutely no real way of knowing how old he is. Which is a bit weird, but oh well. But yeah, I'm sure he's some age. <laughs> Just undetermined which one it is. Anyways. I guess his date of birth is just gonna remain a mystery. Leroy Pearson. Nope. Pearson. Okay. Install apartment number 334. I haven't been able to get in there. Oh, he does have a telephone number, so I could call that. Um, yeah, I have that stuff. I, um... I've talked to Marie in the bar back when I told the bikers to leave and she mentioned that she uh, had some business with a guy who fits the description of this suspect which means that he is most likely the guy the game is named after <laughs> As she said that like some drug lord was now in town and that well he wasn't that uh well he didn't really stand out much and that he specifically had um a tattoo over his I think left nipple and it was a tattoo of a flower. And, well, oh, that's this guy's main characteristic, so that's his identifying mark based on the files, so yeah, it does seem that he is possibly still at the hotel or used to have a room there. Whatever it is, I have not been able to go there. So, I'll try and call the phone number. Who knows? Um... I don't know of anything else apart from the car being used in crimes. Oh, maybe the um, there. Pause. Um, maybe the murder from the start of the game, like maybe the name of that victim matches up. Um. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I I wrote down Lonnie West. I think the victim may have been Lonnie West. So. Did it say terminated in the notebook? Yeah, terminate Lonnie West. So that could mean terminate as in uh, get rid of. So. And, um, oh, wait, Cindy. Is Cindy the dancer from last stream because she might be 
All right. Not sure. So. Ah, it's me from the other side. Seems inconvenient to walk around your desk to be able to use the phone, but. Okay, so I will dial five, 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 six, five, three, seven. No answer. All right, great. Um, contains official departmental manuals. It's not super helpful. Bulletin board is filled with terminally boring stuff. All right. Desk on the left has in and out baskets. A template that says Laura Watts, narcotics detective. Great. Okay. In and out basket. Telephone. No name plate. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Guess I don't get an eight plate yet. For me. Okay. Can't use the map. I'll check again to see if any of the names would be helpful. So, let's see, what were the surnames in here? Malone might be relevant, especially if um, that person's name starts with a J. And he may or may not be dead, <laughs> so. Oh well. Um five folders usually what was the name? Okay. Can't read the last one. Well, as in like the one in the back. Okay, Francis Malone. It's not quite the name I was hoping for, but all right. Steals anything she can fit on her body. <laughs> Great. Does not have a license or anything in there. Petty theft. All right, pro caution. Will not hesitate to knock you down and spit in your eye in your eyes while she breathes heavily into your face, thereby nauseating you to the point of unconsciousness. <laughs> well, that's great. But yeah. Does not seem like a very relevant case right now. Um, let's see. Well, 
Winnie the Weasel, okay? So that guy's initials are just WWW. That's great. <laughs> so. Narcotics, weapons, armed robbery. Lost scene. Big Bonnie. I don't think I know her yet. Large red and blue tattoo of a sinking ship. On wait, on top of his head. That's a great place for a sinking ship tattoo. <laughs> I mean, to each their own, but it's a weird choice. All right. James Jenkins. They really like alliteration. So, um, <laughs> last scene heading south like an out of control rocket. Well, sounds like he's not coming back ever. All right. So, I'll check the last file I can read, because name in the back? No clue. I mean, I could try and guess, but maybe I'm just not meant to read that one. Or actually, it said five files, I think. And there are five names I can read, so maybe the last one is just crossed out or something? No. Whatever. I guess I misspelled it. Read Justin. Grin. Purse snatching, assault and battery, narcotics. Grabs victim, bites neck, snatches purse, runs away. Oh, that's lovely. Um, seen early Wednesday morning. At an intersection. Totally nude. Right. Yep, apparently he's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> Fighting people, stealing their purses, public nudity. It's... All right. <laughs> so it seems like none of those are going to help. <laughs> that was worth a try, I think. Okay, so, um, maybe I can talk to someone else at the police station. Is he still in here? Yes, he is. All right. Sonny, you know you don't belong in this office without an invitation. Get to work. Fine. Wait, what if I open his drawer? <laughs> Don't need to open it. Fine. I guess not then. Wait, I think there was a printer attached to the computer, wasn't there? Maybe I can print stuff out. Or 
works much more slowly when it's off. All right. Monitor, keyboard, and printer. Yes. All right. So, use computer. Um, not sure how I print stuff. So, let's see. Because, I mean, maybe it's going to help if I print out the stuff. So, Leroy Pearson print. No. Close enough. How close am I supposed to be to the printer? Okay. Maybe while standing in front of the computer? Okay. I said use printer, but still using the computer. So Leroy Pearson. Maybe it's partially hidden by the desk or something. I don't know. Not sure I get what the desk is supposed to look like. But I mean, it's not my fault the printer is small. <laughs> yeah, I'll check that because I was going to do that anyways. Um, look at board. Outdated memos filled with superfluous crap. Okay. So, not helpful. can I do for you, Flybar? Um, let's see. So I don't have to specify whose notebook. I just ask for the notebook. Okay. Um... I'm guessing it's just a printer, not a scanner, but how should I know? <laughs> the game doesn't even allow me to use it, so maybe I was just doing the wrong stuff, I guess. So. Okay. 
All right, so what else can I ask for? Social evidence, all right. Well, I guess not, sure, but how should I know? <laughs> well, no me in the 80s either, so. <laughs> I don't know when scanners were first a thing. And like, I guess a police station might have one before the general public did. So. Um. Nope. Uh. Well. Not gonna write down the number. Either way, it's a gun. Looks very much like a gun. Um, nope. Okay, so I don't really know what to do with this thing, so. Was this guy's name again? Okay. Appears to be on a roll. What do you need? Hmm. Nope. Nope. I mean, I guess they don't have anything else of his. Just the drugs, the gun, and a notebook. <laughs> Not sure where they got the driver's licenses from if they don't even have them. Also not sure when she's gonna return. She was supposed to tell me about um the guy being set free on bail, but really you now? Darn it. Nope, no, not gun. Grab radio. Yes, that's the one. Well, I guess I should have searched the car then. <laughs> Maybe I have a save from around that time. Let's see, 29 maybe. Nope. Nope. Twenty-eight. Nope. Twenty-seven. Grr. Hmm. 
<laughs> yes, I am going back. If it's anything that might help me later on, I do not mind going back. Look at the floorboard, seats, and even under the seats. Find nothing. Remember the glove department. Search. Love department. Nope. Fine. Okay. You open the trunk and discover a clear plastic bag containing a white powdery substance resembling cocaine and another clear plastic bag containing a green leafy substance resembling marijuana. Alright. <laughs> Fine. Um... As you start to examine the evidence, you hear Jack's voice behind you. Just leave that stuff in the trunk. All right. Same one. Okay. Yeah, so. Typing. get points for that? I guess I did. Oh. It's not actually new information though. Can I walk to the houses and just knock on the door? Private property, you have no business there. Alright. So. I'll just go back to the other save. Not this one, but this one? Yes. Disappeared. <laughs> I'll check behind this door. All right, yep, she definitely disappeared. But maybe I can find some more stuff in here. Really? Lieutenant Morgan's office, all right.
Tenant Morgan keeps his desk neat and clean, with place for everything and everything in its place. There's a telephone on his desk. Okay. So I can't find anything in there, but maybe they're in the meeting room? Well, the briefing room. So I'll check there. Because maybe finding them would actually help in some way. Nope. Just Sunny got promoted. That's it. <laughs> Great. Seems like they just disappeared. <laughs> I don't, th I don't think there's, like, an upstairs area for this map. I mean, with the remastered version there is, but... It seems like they just changed the layout. They include stairs. Oh yeah, I'm not sure where I'd get evidence to make sure that he stays in jail for now. Okay. So. He left. I'll just wait here for a bit. And see if she is going to return because I don't think I've seen her come back since the first time which is a bit weird so Because the first time she returned immediately, or it felt like she did, she gave me next to no time. <laughs> or maybe it was because I checked the clipboard? she is. All right. Just got a call. All right. If you found anything. All right. So it might be triggered by checking the clipboard. Interesting. Alright, so, I've got nothing that can actually carry my inventory, though. I don't think I can keep the file there. Yeah, I just return it every time. I 
Okay, Andrew's back. A different command for taking the file? Sure, I can try. Nope. You remove the Hoffman file from the drawer. Great. Okay. So I managed to do it now. All right. So. Maybe I shouldn't leave, though. I'll try the same number again. Yeah, it seems like these might, well, actually, that specific Cadillac that was stolen, I think that might be relevant, but I don't know. Oh, yes, yes I can. Burglary. Stall burglary, be on the lookout. Most one. Wait, what? Huh. He's on the most wanted list. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 I should have flipped through it. Not done but I have not done that before. Wait, Harris? So we've got Pearson, Hoffman, Harris, and Ticelli. All right. Okay, clipboard must remain. All right. <laughs> oh. Thanks for the tip. Because it's definitely very helpful. I wasn't aware I could flip through this. 
It just seemed like one piece of paper for some reason. But yeah. It seems like I've found the evidence I needed, because definitely looks like the same person. <laughs> no. Okay. How did they not check the most wanted list? <laughs> Especially when they doubt that they got the correct name. No, can't specifically print that. Fine, let's see. So. Jason Sully. Okay. Wait. Marvin Hoffman? Was that the name? Yes. Yes. Yes, it was. All right. So... No. Nope. I'll definitely write the name down over here just to make sure that I remember it. Because that sounds like his actual name. Pretty sure the FBI did some amount of research before. Putting his name on the list. So. And he is 5'11", so... <laughs> well. Still no clue how I'd print stuff. Um, let's see, does it say anything about printing? Sound, retype, save, restore, restart, shower, radio, dispatch. No. At least I've got the Hoffman file. I mean, I guess I should be able to travel to the court now. Like, is there anything else I'm going to need? Because <laughs> I don't know how to print stuff. So, if that's a something I'm supposed to figure out, then it would be nice to know. Oh, and I didn't grab a key. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. 
He's so slow. So very slow. But yeah, I mean, I've got his file and his name. Well, hopefully, real name. So we'll see. I mean, you'd think they should also have his file there, but... Whatever. <laughs> I can't really... change the fact that I can't seem to... Take the clipboard along. Maybe I can take the paper off the clipboard or something? I don't know. I did try. Is there a way to take along the paper? Is If there is, I just need to try harder. <laughs> yes, I read while driving. I'm already a bad driver. It's not gonna get that much worse. Okay, I hope that's parked enough. Uh, oh, there. Did it. <laughs> really now? You're standing right in front of it. There. Um. No. 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 Um. I'll just walk into the court again. Palmer dresses her courtroom. Right. Silence the court. Okay. So it's the same thing again. In a firm voice, the bailiff speaks to you. Well, the judge is waiting for you. Okay. For your information, sir, this court is in session. You are most fortunate that I do not hold you in contempt. I live. Show this gentleman out of my courtroom. As you're launched from Judge Palmer's court, the bailiff bids you farewell. 
Oh wait. Your face is red. Well, that's just great. That's very nice, sir, responds the clerk. But I have no authority matters such as this. Um... Okay, Judge Kim Palmer's court is presently in session. Okay. So do I just wait out here? Um, the command for what? We're waiting until the court is done. <laughs> because I hope there's a command for that. Okay. So I'm guessing there's a way to like leave a message. is in session. Okay. Because I mean, if I'm just supposed to wait out here, that's going to be very dull. No, I did not bring my gun. Because why would I do that? That's just silly. I brought... Pallet keys, the Litton Office Tribune, and the file. Very nice. Have no authority. Right. Um Nope. Oh. Um I think it's how may I help you? Oh, may I help you? Okay. No. Um. <laughs> Super short command. <laughs> Um, what else could I go for? Let's see. Hmm. One word. Okay. 
I was so sure just saying his name was gonna do it. <laughs> Murder? No. That's... No. That's not an option. I don't have my gun with me, so... So, huh. I don't think murdering the clerk would be something the police would do in this situation, or I hope it wouldn't be. No. Um. I mean, I'm guessing Hoffman isn't out of jail anymore, but somewhere in the court building, just I guess not in the cur in the courtroom right now. Okay, unless nope. <laughs> Pretty sure that's legal too. <laughs> um, <laughs> but at least it would kill him. So, no, I, I didn't mean fire my gun, but just like falsely, um, well. Make everyone believe that the building is on fire? Just... Well, <laughs> why not? I'm sure that's not going to cause a panic or anything. Um... <laughs> Apparently I do not have the authority to fire the clerk. Which makes sense. Um, okay, I don't need to lie. Oh, well, that's great. Because I've been trying to tell him that it's urgent. <laughs> yeah, apparently I can't go around firing people who I have absolutely no authority over. Yeah, too bad. So... Um, let's see. Hmm. 
make sure nobody interrupts the court session unless... Unless there's an emergency, I guess. But how would I tell him that there is? Please wait a moment. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I'll send a message with the bailiff. All right. That was easy. I mean, it took me a while, but... Surprised that it worked. The bailiff says Judge Palmer will see you if you can make it quick. Go into the courtroom. Awesome! Yes! Okay, I will save real quick. Judge Palmer strikes the gavel. Silence, I will consider Mr. Bond's request. Okay, so I'll save it here. Um, may approach the bench. Who or, who or what is this warrant for, says the judge. Um, and what information do you have to substantiate the validity of a warrant? Um, you are keeping this entire courtroom waiting while you attempt, while you attempt to move, while you attempt to establish your case. All right. Do you have any other information? Lots of murderer. Good question. So, um, you are most fortunate that I do not hold you in contempt. Great. Go this gentleman out of the courtroom. Great. Dang it. You're launched from court. Your face is right. Great. Um, yeah, yeah, it would be. So, um, uh, I'll just go to this save, and I'll get the file first, and then I'll try and get the FBI warrant from the clipboard.
To two of flower above the left nipple, you take the FBI most wanted poster. Awesome. Great. I mean, I already tried it, I just couldn't figure it out last time. Awesome. So now I've got everything. Oh, apart from the key. <laughs> that I forgot again. But yeah, I was already trying to take the paper last time. I just... I guess I just didn't try hard enough. So... Checking the car... Not sure if I just need to walk around it or actually type in check car. So I'll try it right now. Because it would save me a lot of time. Okay. So it seems like that's enough. Writing some more. <laughs> well, at least I feel like I know what I'm doing now. Hello, how are you doing? I'm actually making progress, can you believe it? <laughs> So, breaking. Okay. So, I'll be able to hand her the file and the poster, or, well, the list. Yeah, wanted poster. Okay. Quick. Yes, I'm on my way. I'll still save right here. Oh, right, still need to wait till I'm loud there. Okay. Um, warrant for. What information do you have?
motions to the bailiff to retrieve the evidence. You hand the evidence to the bailiff, right? Your heart races as Judge Palmer evaluates your evidence. You think to yourself, this punk cannot go free. Judge Palmer scans the items presented and questions. What makes you think these two men are the same person, Mr. Bonds? There. Keeping this. Okay, great. Glad I saved. Um, oh, whoopsies. There, tattoo. Bailiff and court reporter squirm and choke, trying to conceal their laughter while you quietly tell the judge your tale of tattoos and nipples. Great. The judge attempts to stifle her giggles but fails. Well, she's acting mature. Judge Palmer whispers softly to you, Well, Mr. Bonds, it appears your friend has his tits caught in the ringer. Right. Stifling laughter, Judge Palmer says, Congratulations, Mr. Bonds, your quest is granted. There is a no bail warrant issued on the name of Jason Teselli, alias Marvin Hoffman. Bailiff, deliver this to Mr. Bonds and escort him out. Yay! It worked. Here you are, Mr. Bonds. I hope you're not too late. To Sally's attorney is at the jail this very moment, attempting his release. All right, I'll hurry over there and hopefully not crash my car. So. I'll do a new save. have a gun this time so I don't have to put it in my locker which saves me time Here, says the jailer, I have something to tell you. The jailer sees, I hope you know, Bonds, at this very moment, Hoffman's lawyer is in the front reception area, bailing that worm out. Okay. Um, give no bail warrant. You hand the jailer the no bail warrant just in time to keep Mr. To Sully from returning to the streets. Oh man, this is great, Sonny. The jailer loves. I hope you know this will slam the old boy's orifice shut. 
I'll be right back. This is gonna blow his attorney's mind. Right? I did it. Waiting. Okay. Boy, that made my day, Sonny. You should have seen the guy. He started ranting and raving like a little kid who just has had his lollipop taken away. Oh, well, that's just being mean to kids. All right. Apparently he doesn't want to talk. Fair enough. Guess I'll just leave then. So, heading back to the police station. This traffic light really doesn't like me. <laughs> Looks like Laura is waiting for you. You wonder what's up. Okay. Sonny, one of my informants just told me a drug deal is going down soon in Lytton City Park, says Laura. Getting into your car. Lieutenant Morgan wants us to stake it out and see what we can do. Great, I don't have my gun with me though. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's roll. Sure. So, I'll save again just to be sure. Really hope I won't need his gun. So, a park. Shouldn't be too difficult to get there. Well, I mean, the streets that lead there aren't the greatest, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so up a bit, and now I'll just have to go over here. Um, there. <laughs> Didn't want to crash into that car. So, um. No reason to stop. You say so. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
guessing they won't see the drug deal from out here. <laughs> Will probably happen inside the park. Working a stakeout without a radio extender isn't exactly the way they taught. They taught it at the academy. Supposed to be hiding. No one will play let's make a dope deal with you milling about. Okay. There, fine. I am hiding. Fine. So. Um, this save? Yeah, sure. Or. This is probably fine. With the other one, I might not be able to get out again at the police station, so that's why I'm using this one. Because I might be able to get out of the car while she's not in the car yet. We'll see. I'll also take his gun along this time, because, like, that seems kind of important. Guessing, well, having any kind of weapon might be relevant when trying to apprehend drug dealers. But, well, guessing they're not going to be super happy about being caught. Hold on, Sunny, we've got work to do. Fine. Do I need to redo the entire court stuff just because I hadn't grabbed a radio extender or a gun? Because if so, that's not that great. Oh well. Seems like I might have to redo all of that. Oh joy. So. Alright. Nope. Now I still need the radio and the gun. Because it just seems like I need that. Okay. And heading to the lockers.
I should have everything now for both the warrant and the stakeout. I just took along everything because who knows. All right, so. <laughs> yep. Oh, and the briefcase. Also got, got that along, so. Who knows, maybe I'll need to write someone a ticket or something. And yes, I know I'm driving at the slowest speed, but I prefer doing that over having to redo stuff all the time. Okay, so. Thanks for the follow. All right, so. Let's try this again. <laughs> yes, yes, great. So. Halfman. Um, give. File, give list, okay. All right, so, yes, yes, they're the same person, now give me the warrant again. What would have been nice if my dear colleague would have just let me get out of the car. He was not being very helpful with that part. So, take back out, and to the car.
right. All right, seems like I'm not too late, despite grabbing the other stuff before going over to the court and then over to the jail. So, yeah, seems like I fixed it for now. Great, awesome. So that's done. Now heading back to the police station and then doing the stakeout properly. Oh, right. Gun. Forgot about it again. Probably shouldn't leave it here. <laughs> Should be at the police station pretty soon. Might actually save some time by going around this, this traffic light, but oh well. <laughs> Yeah, probably would have saved some time. But it doesn't matter now. <laughs> I'm almost back anyways, so. Wouldn't have made a huge difference. So, there. Hello, Laura. Okay, so and I'll do a save. Alright, so, we'll be at the park in a bit, but I don't actually know how to do stakeouts yet, so, that could be a learning experience. We'll see how bad it gets. Because, like, maybe they're just supposed to sit in their car and wait. Because that's super subtle. Okay, 
Okay, Sunny, I'll move the car out of sight and monitor you for back. Okay. What's the matter? Let's get the show on the road. You can seal yourself in the bushes, but with a clear view of the table. Lovely music. <laughs> Key your extender and notify Detective Watts that you're in a concealed position. She responds to your transmission. Ten four. I'll maintain radio silence until I hear from you. Right? You quietly watch a man enter the picnic area. Okay. Nope, 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 not restore. Save. He cautiously nears the picnic table. Yes? He's just standing there. That's not very eventful. Like, keep it down. This is a stakeout, remember? Okay. So I'm just supposed to sit here. All right. Huh. Another figure carefully approaches the picnic table. Could it be his drug contact? Psst, Vic. Were you followed? No way, man, it's cool. I got the stuff. Did you bring the cash? Well, at least they're being super obvious about it. Yeah, right here. One suspect hands what appears to be an envelope to the other suspect. Second suspect returns a small plastic bag containing a white substance. Hey, butt breath, this ain't enough. Here's the rest. As they argue, you realize the pusher is dissatisfied with the contents of the envelope. Hey man, some guy with a gun. I'm out of here. Dang it. Hold you shout, police officer. And I'm shot. <laughs> Dang it. What drug peddling punk just 
blew you into police quest too. That drug peddling punk. Coming soon to computer near you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess I just wait for them to do their stuff. But, either way, <laughs> I'll be doing that tomorrow. I will probably do a longer stream tomorrow, we'll see. And it's also going to be the last stream for like the next two or so weeks. Because I have to take that time off for medical reasons. So, yes. I will see all of you tomorrow, which, as I said, is going to be the last stream for a while. <laughs> but I'll be back after that. So, yeah. Have a nice rest of your day. And I'll see you then. Bye.